The symmetry principle stating that consequences have at least the symmetries of their causes, this almost philosophical statement has very practical consequences in physics, particularly in electromagnetism. And in electromagnetism, consequences would be the creation of fields, namely magnetic and electric fields. And causes or results are distribution of charges and currents. Here we will see how each of these fields behave with regard to symmetries and why the behavior of the magnetic field with symmetry may seem non-intuitive. If we have, for example, an infinite line, uniformly charged with a density rho L. If an electron in this side of the line and another electron symmetric to the other electron with regard to delta, they would see symmetric electric field with the same intensity from each side of the line. While if the line holds a current I, if this electron sees a magnetic field going inside the screen, the other electron would see an anti-symmetric magnetic field getting out of the screen. So why the magnetic field is anti-symmetric while the electric field is completely symmetric? Well, the answer is to specify what we mean by consequences. From the electron point of view, the only consequences that it feels is force. E and B are just mathematical constructions to describe the fields that will lead to this force. And if we see the forces felt by the electron, in the case of electric force, the electron would have felt an electric force in green, symmetric from each side, caused by the electric field E. And if we say that each electron has a velocity V and that the other electron has a symmetric velocity V prime, we would note that in both cases, it will feel a magnetic force that is symmetric on the other side of the line, so that the magnetic force remains with the same symmetries of the causes. From a practical point of view, we always say that E is symmetric with the symmetries of the causes, while B is anti-symmetric to what the symmetries of the causes are. Why? Because B is what we call a pseudo-vector. The mathematical construction of the electric field depends on space orientation while the electric field is intrinsically built without any dependence on space orientation. Remember that when you compute the magnetic field, you use some vectorial product. With the other vectorial product you use to compute the force, you compensate this dependence on space orientation. Thus, the only thing you'd care about when considering symmetry is forces, and whenever forces are symmetric, you are sure to be respecting Curie's symmetry principle. Again, from a practical point of view, this leads to this consideration where whenever you find symmetries in charge distributions, you say that E would have the same symmetries, and whenever you find symmetries in current distribution, you would say that B would be anti-symmetric in regard to these symmetries.